Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to the Dallas ISD meeting tonight, virtual community meeting tonight for Bond 2015 Renovations and Additions to William Anderson Elementary School in Southeast Dallas. We're excited to have you join us today. If you're viewing this meeting on Facebook, we invite you to make any comments or express your concerns and thoughts in the comment section on Facebook. If you're listening and you need Spanish translation, please join us on the Facebook and our Spanish channel at Dallas ISD Espanol. If you're joining us on our live broadcast, we welcome you again and you can submit your questions and any comments or concerns you may have using the link found at bonddallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. Again, that's dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. And again, if you're joining us on Facebook, Please feel free to just submit your questions, comments, and concerns um, in the comments section, and we make sure those get answered and presented today. So without any further ado, I want to turn it over into the hands of our wonderful principal, Principal Garcia. Take it away. Good evening. My name is Sylvia Garcia, and I'm the proud and excited principal of William M. Anderson. Welcome to the William M. Anderson's community meeting. Tonight, we'll be discussing the renovation plans for our school here at William M. Anderson. The preliminary re re renovation plans brought a huge smile to my face. Our students, the staff, the community will be able to walk through a colorful, modern, and beautiful building. William M. Anderson's renovation and the new look will bring the best environment for students to learn, to grow, and to lead. I am so excited, and I'm sure you will too. Tonight, we will learn that the bond upgrades align perfectly with the priorities of William Anderson. The pri just to name a few priorities, the safety, academic achievement, social emotional learning, technology, among, among many others. Currently, William Anderson is a B campus or a breakthrough campus. Our students, our staff are working rigorously to make sure that our students get the best education possible and to become an, an accomplished school. And I am sure that with the attractive, modern and beautiful campus, our students will continue to grow, give us their best effort and achieve their academic goals. I am sure after you see the plans, you will agree that the project, the design team did an excellent job designing William Anderson's renovations. It just looks like a brand new school. At this time, it is my honor to introduce District Four Trustee, Ms. Carla Garcia. Can you please help me welcome Trustee Garcia? Good afternoon, everyone. It's an absolute pleasure to be joining you for this meeting for the William Anderson Elementary School renovation. I'm delighted to see the plans myself. I'm delighted to see the excitement from the community to have our questions answered. But more than anything, I think following with Principal Garcia's comments about giving students the facilities they deserve to continue excelling in their academics. Um, I'm excited to have a jewel like this in our community. I'm excited for it to reflect the potential of our students and their exciting achievements. And more than anything, to be a part of this journey with you as William and Anderson sees its transformation into a modern and beautiful campus that'll hold all the immense growth that is happening with our students right here in our community. So thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to answering uh, questions or becoming part of the, of the discussion. And I believe Ms. Shelton, I am introducing you as well now to hear from you. Yes, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Tanya Shelton. I'm proud to serve as the executive director for the Spruce and Wilmer Hutchins Elementary Cluster. And I'm so excited to be here today to join Principal Garcia and the staff of Wilmer An William Anderson as we move into a beautiful school. And so Ms. Uh, Anders Ms. Garcia has done great things for the community 
Uh, her staff works uh, and does amazing things. That's why their student achievement has maintained over the years, year after year. And so what I'm most excited about is that the campus will match the success of the school. So I look forward to engaging in questions as well. Thank you, Trustee Garcia, for your encouragement, your supportive, your supportive comments and your leadership. Thank you, Dr. Shelton, for uh, giving us that support, that guidance, and your leadership that inspires us every day here at William Anderson. And now for the time we've been waiting for. Allow me to introduce architect William Collins and project manager, design team, Mr. Kit Quick. And they will present the plans, the renovations, and you will see how beautiful William Anderson will become within a year. So Mr. Quick, Mr. Collins, thank you for being here. Thank you, Principal Garcia, Trustee Garcia and Dr. Shelton. It's uh, our pleasure to be here. Very much uh, pleased to be able to present this to you. I'm sorry Fernando couldn't be here this evening, but uh, he sends his best to everyone. And, uh, this is part of his best. So uh, let's see if we can go through. Let's uh, a little history first on what we have to work with here. Um, we're going to be looking at the project scope first, which is uh, going to include a little history of the building, uh, the scope of work, the uh, floor plans. We'll see the uh, site plans, the uh, overall floor plan, uh, the addition to what we're going to do for the administrative offices. Uh, then some proposed exterior finishes and renderings, proposed interior finishes, uh, some interior plans, and uh, some plans for the new reception area and the lobby. Uh, beyond that, we'll, we'll just go ahead and have a look. So um, let's see, Kid, can you move forward a little? Oh, there we go. Well, that was what I was reading. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see, project scope and the uh, history of it. If we can go down a little further. Ahead. You can see the, the original building was uh, built in 1956. Uh, that's the turquoise color here. There was an addition for the uh, pre-K and early learning, uh, in addition to the South in 1987, and that's a single story addition. Then the 2004 addition to the North was most recently added in 2004, and it's a two story addition there. What we're adding this time is out to the West of the building, and that's the purplish color there. Uh, on the first level. And let's see, we can go on to the scope of work. So our task, uh, as Principal Garcia kind of outlined, we have uh, a lot of touch on each part of the school. Uh, we're, we're remodeling the clinic and the offices to expand the uh, administrative area and to provide a um, a secure entry for the building and for the school. Uh, we're replacing windows throughout the school, cleaning the existing brick, the stone, the masonry all throughout the school, uh, resealing all the joints and things that, that fit the whole thing together. Uh, we're providing a new roof over the pre-K uh, addition to the south. There's a uh, replacement of the interior lighting throughout the school with new energy efficient LED fixtures, um, replacing the educational casework in the original school building and in the pre-K edition. The uh, casework to the north is still uh, fairly new there, so we're not doing anything on that end, but um, replacing, or replacing teaching surfaces in the original school building as well and in the pre-K providing new finishes in the corridors in the original school building and the pre-K addition, also in the classrooms in those portions, uh, providing new wayfinding and signage throughout the uh, school, 
replacing and upgrading the existing mechanical systems and components portions throughout the school, but mostly in the, the uh, original building and the pre-K. And then uh, replacing the and upgrading electrical systems and components throughout, uh, providing updated air conditioning system for the original school building. That's our uh, overall renovations. And then um, I think there's another page for the additions. Is that right, kid? Yeah, the new construction, yeah. So the, we're adding a new covered uh, accessible entry to the west. Uh, that will include a new secure front vestibule, um, which will allow us more control to the school. It's an accessible entry, so you're all bringing everyone into that same area. Uh, it's an expanded administrative office area, uh, new landscaping and sidewalk replacement at the main entry, and a new marquee sign. Uh, and providing a new pickup and drop off lane. So we're pulling the uh, traffic off the main um, St. Augustine Drive and that will free up that area much, much, much safer for us all. This is a, an outline of what we're doing. You can see this by uh, color coding. Uh, the new lighting is throughout the school. The, the areas that are just the yellow are just lighting. So you can see the uh, cafeteria where kids um, cursor is, well, well, was there. Uh, we have new lighting in the auditorium, the gymnasium, and the um, cafeteria as well. And then throughout the north addition, the two-story portion to the north. Then the, uh, the new flooring, uh, we're doing the entire corridors and the uh, existing classrooms throughout the original building. Uh, let's see, new casework and uh, new teaching surfaces, lighting, flooring, and windows in the classrooms, uh, renovating and expanding the administrative area. That's the, again, the purple area to the left of the drawing. And then the secure entry or the uh, I'm sorry, the canopy and the uh, ramp that comes up to bring us in. That's our main entry now. And um, I think that's the overview of it, two stories for the most part. So again, this is more a key uh, plan. You can see the existing buildings and then the renovations out here to the left of the drawing. But this also shows the uh, site plan where we're adding the drive and the drop off and the pickup area there. Redoing the entire front plaza area and uh, creating a little better, well, just a, a nice, entry for the entire school. And uh, also redoing some of the uh, ramp to the uh, pre-K at the um, south here. This is the administrative area. Um, the renovations, of course, the, the left or the right-hand side of this drawing uh, where the clinic is through here clinic office, the uh, restroom, the uh, exam room. Uh, that's all renovation from the existing building. And then we're tying on new to the left of this where we're expanding the workroom, providing restrooms for the school and for the administrative area, uh, primarily for the administrative area for this portion. Uh, then there's a uh, parent room up to the upper left-hand corner here. And uh, uh, an office next to that, I'm sorry. I uh, got my, my uh, voice stuck, sorry about that. Uh, then the secure vestibule and the reception area here to the uh, south of the vestibule. You can kind of see how that works coming up the ramp and the steps and into the vestibule and into the reception, which controls the entry to the school and the administrative offices. Then uh, you know, the administrative offices themselves functioning in this area, this, this suite of offices, principal, the conference room and the uh, secretary's office, and then the workroom connected to all of that. 
proposed exterior materials. We're uh, matching the existing uh, 1956 building as close as we can uh, with an Acme brick mix here. Uh, we're going to be torturing ourselves out on site to make it look as close as we can possibly get to the existing. Uh, let's see, we're using a stone veneer at the ramp and uh, the enclosure to that. The capstone or the cast stone cap wall uh, for the cast stone or the stone veneer for the ramp. Then um, that's all kind of matching the existing school. We're trying to get a, a more renovated uh, or up to date look for the outside of this new addition and yet keep with the same vocabulary of the rest of the school, providing a more contemporary look for just the addition and how we're connecting back to the original school. Uh, the pavers you can see there at the bottom, that's for our uh, entry plaza out in front. And then this is the main entry facade. Uh, we've taken the uh, thin stone and also applied that to the pre-K addition to the right of the screen so that we get a, a visual tie between the two pieces here. Perspective view of it. This is our main uh, thoroughfare now for the uh, pick up and drop off. You can see the uh, original facade of the school or what it is right now is here to the right in the small inset. And then this is the pre-K entry. Uh, this is how we're connecting. We still have our uh, mechanical court here back between the two buildings, but uh, this is uh, overview of what we're going to see and the protective bollards that we're adding to, to just make sure we have our, our safety in mind for the uh, route through. Proposed interior finishes. It's a fairly straightforward palette of colors. Uh, we're trying to use the school's colors of blue and red and maintain, uh, well, the existing uh, finishes that are used in the north uh, portion, the north edition that was done in 2004. So we're kind of maintaining some of that look and bringing that back into this revised or re revitalized portion of the original building. The uh, fabrics for the curtains in the clinic uh, many blinds throughout, uh, carpet in certain areas in the offices. And uh, I think that's, that's the overview of that. This gives us an overview of the connecting corridors, uh, the accent colors in the pre-K down here to the south. The vinyl, we're just using uh, some accents on the floors. Just to liven this up a little bit. Same thing on the second floor. And then the, uh, we're not doing things to the floor in the north edition. As I said, we're kind of maintaining those fi uh, finishes and carrying them back into the new This is the administrative addition and uh, renovations. And uh, these, I believe, yeah, we're seeing the carpet here, the uh, portions down in the lower left and the clinic office as well. The others are tile and vinyl, ceramic tile and vinyl tile throughout. This being the new, uh, reception area and we're still working on the blue color to to meet principal garcia's requirements for that but uh, this is the intent was to uh, use the uh, red color and the blue color and create a, a kind of a vibrant entry as you're coming into the school 
in the clinic renovations. Same, we'll have an accent with the uh, back wall there. Accents on the floors, and that's a darker color of the blue. And you can see the original uh, clinic office up here in the upper right. This is the pre-K, one of the pre-K rooms. Uh, new casework, new uh, finishes throughout, and uh, just a good space all around. And that's our approach to this. Corridor, uh, just a general overview here. We are leaving the existing lockers at this point. Um, but our new ceiling throughout will have a uh, new HVAC that's going to run throughout the corridors here and supply uh, new HVAC to all the classrooms to either side of these corridors. They're extremely generous corridors width-wise, but uh, we're spreading that uh, HVAC, the air conditioning, so that it uh, reaches all the classrooms. That's one of our uh, primary goals here is to eliminate the existing, uh, what is it, it's a boiler system right now, a steam system with uh, unit ventilators in all of the classrooms of the original building. We're uh, removing all of those, removing all of the uh, suspended piping and, and insulation that's in there now, and that's going to clear up all of the classrooms in this original building. We're anticipating right now that uh, start of construction is any moment now, actually. It's uh, uh, early summer is when we will start to really get in and, and see things out. To, the contractor hasn't given us their schedule yet, but uh, this was the original anticipated uh, scheduling of it. Completion of the construction may extend into summer of 2022, but this is the intent at this point. And for that, uh, very much thank you all for uh, allowing me to speak and uh, stutter and fall uh, on myself all the way through this, but uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions that I can. Great. Um, again, if you're joining us, this is a community meeting about the renovation changes happening at uh, William M. Anderson Elementary School. You, if you're joining us on Facebook, you can submit questions in the comments section and we'll get those answered for you tonight. If you're joining us on our live feed, you can submit your questions using the link at www.dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. Again, this dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. And we do have a couple of questions coming through from Facebook. Um, first, a comment that this looks um, of how beautiful and how wonderful it looks, this, this, these changes look. So thank you so much. Um, we do have a question that, um, from Facebook that says, will this fix the lack of ventilation in certain areas of the building, as well as provide AC and heating throughout the entire building? It's a, yes, overall it is. Uh, there, it's a, uh, using the existing system in the north portion, but replacing that entire roof unit. So we have new equipment supplying through the existing ducts there. Okay. The rest of the school is being redone from a uh, steam system, as I said, to a hydronic system, which is a uh, heated water and chilled water system. And that will be ducted from primary units within the school, they're new and they will be circulating throughout. So that is the intent is to replace that existing system that just wasn't working. Great, and Bill, we are having a little bit of technical difficulties with your audio. Um, so I'll just go ahead and repeat some of that. The answer is yes, that the intent and what the scope will do is to provide, is to update the AC and heating throughout the entire building. So that will fix the existing problems with ventilation 
and provide a much um, more cohesive learning and, and stable learning environment um, using the various systems. Um, parts will be replaced and others will be, will be upgraded. So it'll be a really nice change environmentally for the campus. Uh, we have a couple of comments on the pavers. Everyone's loving the colors of the pavers with lots of thumbs up there. Um, and another comment that everything is very, very nice. So we do have a question about this, the construction timeline, how that will impact. I don't know if um, someone from Dallas ISD can respond about how we manage projects when school is going on and, and students are in the classrooms, but construction is going on. Um, can someone respond to that question and share how we make those changes? And can how you we make me? those accommodations? Yes, we can. All right, so during the summer and everything, we work it through the days, holidays, things like that, we work through the days. Through the rest of the year, everything is done nights and nights and weekends evenings and so we work in the evenings clean everything up that night and leave everything the way that it is for the class the next day so that uh, you know we may have a little bit of swing space have a couple classrooms that we while we're working on two of them they may be work they, the class may have moved to different to a couple other rooms so that we can continue but we'd be working most of the time it'll be working just opposite, just opposite when the students and staff are in the school. Great. And what about any precautions we're taking um, during the COVID vax uh, during COVID? Well, during COVID and everything, we do we check temperatures and uh, yeah, we we follow all the typical protocol of the COVID protocol that uh, the district also recommends. Uh, take temperatures, uh, you know, just basically things like that. And plus not to mention the fact that, uh, like I said, there's, when the staff and students are in the classrooms and everything, we don't have any presence at that point. Uh, every now and then if we run into whether or not it's weather or something, if something comes up, you may have one or two people come up to the school or something after hours, or, you know, have to come up and check something to make sure that, uh, you know, if they find something not working or, you know, if there's a small leak or something like that, but as far as everything else goes, there is, uh, you know, there's, there's no, uh, no mix with students and uh, construction personnel. So, great. Uh, we do have another question. Uh, will the fine arts rooms be updated as well? I think that's you, Bill. Yeah. Uh, yes. The uh, I believe there's just one arts classroom is that right principal garcia no i don't have any uh, fine arts inside the building uh, the fine arts are out in the portables okay music and art are in the portables so are we are does this plan call to do anything about the about those portables or will the addition bring those classrooms inside um i guess to ask the question the, yeah, we, we've got no work. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, there's no work on the portables at this point. Um, yeah, I see what the problem here is with my okay. audio. So the, there's a follow-up question is about the portables. Will the portables be replaced with new classrooms? No. Okay. Okay, great. And again, if you're joining us, um, you can submit your questions if you're, if you're joining us on Facebook, either on our English or, or um, Facebook in Espanol. You can submit your questions and comments. If you're joining us on the live feed, you can submit your questions at www.dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. Again, that's dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. Um, Bill, we have had a number of people to join us a little bit late. So if you wouldn't mind just running through the um, presentation one more time to make sure that everyone sees the great changes that are happening at, at Anderson. Sure. Is the audio better now? Yes, it's much better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you, kid. Um, and thanks again to everyone. Uh, welcome to the presentation. We'll try to do another version here. Um, going through, we'll look at project scope 
here, the little building history and the scope of work that we're covering with this particular project, uh, our floor plan, site plan, overall floor plan, and the addition enlarged uh, administrative area, uh, and then proposed exterior finishes, the exterior renderings, proposed interior finishes, the interior floor finish plans, and then the uh, new reception lobby renderings, uh, main corridor renderings, and a typical pre-K classroom rendering. Um, so we can go on KID and um, can look again. You can see here the uh, original building, which was done in 1956, is uh, in the turquoise color. The addition to the south was added in 1987. It's a single story portion was done for the pre-K and uh, early learning. And then the addition to the north is a two-story addition uh, done in 2004. And I believe that's the third, fourth, and fifth grades at this point. Um, the additions to the left here, that's the administrative offices. And then the uh, uh, covered entry, the accessible entry, and main entry to the school at this point. The renovations include the uh, remodel of the clinic and offices in the existing administrative area. The uh, replacement of windows throughout the school, that's on all portions, the 1956, 1987, and the 2004 editions. So that's to add uh, energy efficient glazing throughout. Uh, we're also cleaning all the existing brick and stone masonry throughout the school, uh, redoing the sealants, the uh, expansion joints, providing new roof over the uh, pre-K addition, uh, replacing interior lighting throughout the school with new energy efficient LED fixtures, uh, replacing the education casework in the original school building in the pre-K additions, replacing the teaching surfaces in the original pre-K or the original building in the pre-K additions, providing new finishes in the corridors in the original school building in the pre-K, uh, providing new finishes in the classrooms in the original pre-K, uh, original and pre-K, uh, providing new wayfinding throughout the school and uh, replacing and upgrading the existing mechanical systems and components throughout the schools to bring it all up to a functioning level again. Uh, we're also replacing the existing electrical systems and components throughout the schools where they've fallen down and we're bringing that up to code and bringing it up to the current standards of DISD. Uh, also updating the air conditioning system for the original school. Uh, that was the change from the existing steam system and chilled water into a new uh, chilled water uh, hydronic system using heated water, uh, not steam. Then the, uh, the new construction and the additions, uh, the administrative area is our primary portion there. That's a new covered accessible entry to the new secure front vestibule and entry vestibule, uh, an expanded administrative office area providing new landscaping and sidewalk replacement at the main entry, uh, providing a new marquee sign and providing a new pickup and drop off lane apart from St. Augustine. Floor plan uh, layouts, you can see by these, the color coding uh, up to the left, it's the uh, new lighting only in those areas. Uh, there is new lighting throughout the school, but those are the particular areas that are, are just lighting. Uh, the new flooring and uh, base, uh, new lighting, the uh, blue color there that we have. Uh, then the renovation and expansion of the administrative area, that's the purple area. And then the new covered entry and the ramp uh, for the uh, entry vestibule uh, and along the west face of the building. I believe next site plan. Yeah, this is our site plan. We can see how the new addition is coming out to the west here. And then the uh, uh, new driveway that's coming through. Uh, we're going to be pulling 
the traffic uh, and the pickup and drop off traffic through this area. So it'll be out of traffic's way and out of harm's way. This is the administrative area. The original portion of the building here to the right, uh, we're converting all of that into clinic uh, to expand those functions and, and meet the new DISD requirements for those areas. Then uh, as we go further to the west here to the left, we're adding the secure vestibule here in the middle on axis with the main corridor of the existing school. And then uh, the parents room up at the uh, upper left-hand corner and the transition office next to that. Then uh, down in, this is the secure vestibule coming into the entry uh, or the reception area. Uh, where you'll have control of who can come into the school through this uh, main door here and then through the to the administrative offices to the other secure door. And administrative offices then the uh, secretary's office, the conference room, principal's office, the workroom uh, and the secure testing vault, restrooms for the facilities. Um, that's that's it in a nutshell there. Proposed exterior materials, we're trying to maintain the existing color of brick from the original 1956 building. And uh, we'll be adding this uh, lighter colored stone veneer around the new entry and the ramp there. Also at the uh, facade of the uh, pre-K addition to make them look as one and, and bring the two together visually. The, uh, we are painting all the exterior uh, surfaces as well that, that are currently painted. And then down at the uh, lower right are the pavers that we'll be using in the plaza area. This is the west elevation, the main, main facade of the building. You can see the existing uh, auditorium here to the left and then the main entry. Uh, the canopy over the entry uh, ramp coming down behind that stone portion there. And then the pre-K over to the right, also receiving the uh, lighter stone veneer on that. This perspective view, looking up at it. Uh, and uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. The, uh, yeah, that was the uh, original entry there to the right. I was going to say something about that, but that's okay. There we go. You can see the uh, existing facility right now, existing facade of the building to the right in that inset view. Further over to the right. Keep, keep going. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, yes, so the, that's, that's that view. And then the next one is, uh, you can see the pre-K entry here. And then uh, the addition, the administrative office addition here to the left. Proposed interior materials, trying to use the existing pallets of uh, the existing flooring from the North building and bringing that into the new, revised areas here to the south and the original building in the pre-k. We'll use the uh, blue and the red which are the school's colors and uh, mix those with some accents um, and that's that's our approach here. Uh, uh, um, uh, Principal Garcia is, knows that I wear uh, pretty black clothing and so uh, I'm not exactly uh, good at describing how colors will work, but uh, I do have a good good group of people here who work with us and uh, I think they've chosen some good things here. This is a floor layout showing that we're uh, doing, these are all of the new floors for this area throughout the, the south uh, portion here, the uh, pre-K addition, and then the original building uh, the 1956, the two stories here. All the classrooms getting new flooring, new finishes, uh, new casework, all of that. 
in the second floor, same sort of thing. Uh, just new finishes in the classrooms and in the corridors, some accents to, to bring the color up. And I think that's it for the floor plans. Oh, here we go. And the administrative offices, uh, these are not exactly colorful, are they? Uh, I'm not <laughs> saying the exhibits the way I thought they would come across. Um, but the, uh, this is uh, uh, carpet areas in the uh, offices here to the left, uh, vinyl tile throughout the administrative offices, and then uh, ceramic tile in the uh, uh, restrooms. This is the, uh, the reception area. You can see the original or the existing uh, reception area up to our upper right corner of the room or the sheet here. And um, these, this will be uh, our new reception area. We'll have the uh, red, red tile on the face of the reception and then an accent wall behind. Uh, we're going to get that to a more agreeable color as we get further along. The clinic. Uh, the curtained areas, patient. This will be a dimmable lighting as well, uh, an accent wall in the back, new casework, and um, yeah, should be a good space here. You can see from the original or the existing conditions up in the upper right. Big improvement. And then one of the pre-K rooms, uh, new casework, new um, teaching surfaces. Uh, new exhibit space, all the, all the room gets an upgrade and new ceilings, new lighting throughout. And the corridor uh, of the original building, this is just a general view. Uh, we're keeping the existing lockers right now and uh, we'll be bringing the uh, ceiling in to cover this new distribution of the HVAC, the air conditioning that we're bringing down through the corridor to all of the classrooms to feed both sides of this corridor. Start of construction is estimated in the coming weeks, early summer, 2021. And then completion of summer or completion of construction is spring to summer 2022. And again, I thank everyone. Thank you for your time and allowing me this presentation. Thank you. We do have a number of questions coming in. Again, if you're joining us on Facebook, either our Facebook Live or um, on our English channel or in Espanol, please submit your questions as comments and we will be asking those in a few minutes. If you're joining us on our live feed, please submit your questions at the link shown on the screen, which is www.dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. Again, that's dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. Okay, Bill, we have a couple of questions here. Um, one is, are the kindergarten restrooms and main hall restroom going to be remodeled? The kindergarten, yes, but not the main restrooms. They were done in the last bond program in 2004. Okay, great. Um, there are a number of questions coming in about the portables. Um, we already asked the question about the portables being replaced, and we were told, no, they were, replaced, they were not scheduled to be replaced in this particular bond package. And they're saying, are there any, um, in any renovations addressing the lack of safety in the portable areas, in the area with the portables, that the lack of safety in the portable bathroom area is of great concern? So I don't know if... Um, David wants to address that or someone with the district wants to address that or Bill, is there anything going on in that portable area outside to increase um, security? That is not part of the scope of this program, right? Okay, does someone, anyone from the district want to address any of that as well? Okay. 
Um, the next question we have is what about first grade classrooms? Are they going to be, are they going to remove old paints and bring them up to date or just remove the pipes? They are removing paint as well. Yes, the uh, ceilings uh, where there is currently a kind of an acoustic treatment applied to that, that will be removed. Uh, yes, all of the piping that's in those rooms, that's going to be removed. All of the existing casework will be removed and new finishes throughout. Okay, great. Now we have a number of questions that have to do with clarity of some of the terms that we use. So um, the first one is, what do you mean by replacing teaching services in the classrooms? And I don't know if one of the, one of the renderings could help you explain that, Bill? The existing uh, teaching surfaces would be the chalkboards and tack boards that are currently in those spaces. This is more a mixture of whiteboards and tack boards, mm -hmm. bringing them up to current district standards, as well as the uh, visual, uh, audio visual components as well. Okay, great. Um, there's a question, are we getting new student and teacher desks and chairs? I would have to defer to the district on that. Yes, this is uh, I don't. This is Dave Downing. There is a program where uh, new furniture will be brought into all the facilities. Um, I can't tell you if that's going to be in conjunction with this project, but there is going to be new furniture. And uh, addressing the question about the portables, that was not part of this project um, as far as the, the budgeting for the portable improvement or um, uh, in um, any kind of uh, improvements. So I'm sorry that that uh, part of the, the improvements will not be included in this project. Okay, great. And um, one final question about um, the classrooms. Are, the, are all the classrooms or all the rooms getting new, um, being repainted, getting new paint or just a select few? All but the North edition. It's the North edition would include, would be the edition that was just most recently added? Right, 2004. Okay. So once again, if you um, thank you for joining this evening for this presentation. If you have any questions, if you're on Facebook, just submit them as, um, as questions, uh, comments in the comment section. If you're um, joining us through the live feed, you can submit them at um, dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. Again, that's um, forward slash um, dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. Um, we do have a lot of great responses coming in. A lot of people are giving thumbs up and, and a lot of um, positive uh, reactions to the, what they're seeing into the presentation itself. So we're very excited for that. And I didn't want to share that. Um, it looks like we're kind of winding down with the questions at this point. So if you would not mind, let's go ahead and um, Trustee Garcia, I know you're on the call. If you want to make any closing remarks at this time. Absolutely. Just want to share my excitement for the plans uh, that were the presentation provided to us. I'm excited to see um, as I also keeping up with the Facebook comments that were coming in about how beautiful it is and um, excited to know that the students um, will be able to continue their education while construction is ongoing as well. And that we're soon to see the renovation of William and Anderson Elementary. So excited again to have this jewel in the community and to have that reflect both inside and outside of, of the school building. So thank you very much for this presentation. And thank you, Trustee Garcia. Um, Executive Director Shelton, do you wanna make any closing remarks as well? Sure, um, I'm very excited, you know, after seeing all of the plans and I know Principal Garcia, we've had that struggle with traffic and things like that for the uh, arrival procedure. So I'm happy to see that uh, that will be um, updated and upgraded uh, for the community. Um, but just overall excited and looking forward to the finished product and we'll work definitely with the uh, bond team uh, to make it to the finish line. Fantastic. And last but certainly least, we want to hear our closing remarks from our wonderful principal, Principal Garcia. I would like to thank you for joining us tonight. 
I am so excited of the renovations and the Anderson's new look. I can't wait until we see the final product. I am sure you will agree with me that the upgrades and renovations were much needed and now our students will have a beautiful school where they can excel in the learning even more so. I would like to thank Trustee Garcia for joining us tonight and for her continual support for William Anderson. Dr. Shelton, thank you for joining us and for your continual support and leadership and making us grow every day. Mr. Collins, Mr. Quick, thank you for the design. Thank you for the planning. You maximize the existing. You added the new and you modernized it all. And now it looks brand new. So thank you so much for the design. I'm sure that the community as well as the faculty and staff will love the new renovations. I'm especially thankful for our parents, our community, our students, the faculty and staff that joined us tonight. Your support, your commitment, and your pride for William Anderson will surely continue throughout the school year until the final product in 2022. I am sure that you will continue working hard, rigorous to make William Anderson a premier school. We are super excited of the campus renovations. Our school not only will look beautiful, but it will align to the school and the community values. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and have a good evening. Great. Uh, we did have two, we did have one other question come in at the very end um, about renovations. Will it include additional parking spaces? Uh, no. Okay, great. Well, I want to thank everyone on behalf of Dallas ISD Bond and Construction Services and, of course, our superintendent of schools, Dr. Michael Hinojosa, and the entire Dallas ISD community. We want to thank you for joining us for this community meeting. Um, if you want to stay um, up to date on this and other Bond 2015 projects, you can visit us at www.dallasisd.org forward slash Bond 2015. Again, that's dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015. So we thank you for joining us and have a wonderful evening, everyone.